How's it going, YouTubers? Slade Walters here with another installment of Memoirs of a Gaijin. This is part two of the Yokohama segment. In this one, we go to Yokohama Chinatown and uh, see some interesting things down there. So check it out. Hey, welcome to Random Train Stop. I'm Noriko. Kudo Noriko desu. Random Train Stop ga yokoso. We are at the gate four on the way to Yokohama to pick up where we left off from. Ima, gate four ni kiteimasu. Kore kara Yokohama ni mukai, soko kara boat ni nottei kitai to omoimasu. Previously, on Random Train Stop, we went to the Sky Building for some Mexican food. Beikoro Mall was right there, so we wanted to check it out. We used the automatic walkway. Then we saw signs for something called the Sea Bass. The Sea Bass is the boat that takes you to Yokohama Chinatown and Minato Mirai. I met my friends Emi-san and Randa at the ice cream shop. We dumped Zik at the mall so we could have a girl's day out. We got soft cream while we waited and enjoyed the nice view of Yokohama skyline and the water. Our boat finally arrived so we finished our soft cream and waited to get on. The sea bass is a nice little boat. The ride is pretty relaxing and comfortable. It also gives you a great view of the Yokohama Bay Area. You can always take the train, but you would miss the great view. It is only 600 yen from Yokohama Station East Exit to Yamashita Park near Chinatown. After a little while, we got to Yamashita Park and started walking towards Chinatown. We couldn't miss the opportunity to visit the park on the way. The roses were blooming and it was a nice day. After a little walk around the park, we headed towards Chinatown. When we got to Chinatown, we were looking for something fun to do, and we saw a Chinese fortune teller shop. Rhonda couldn't wait to find out her fortune, so we decided to get our fortunes told for fun. Actually, I didn't get my fortune told because I was a translator. But Rhonda and Amy san had a lot of questions and had fun finding out the possible answers. When we were finished with the fortune tellers, we went over to the temple across the street and lit some candles to make wishes for the future. I guess the fortune teller made Emi-san and Rhonda a little nervous. It never hurts to make a wish. We are all getting a little bit hungry and there's some great food choices in Chinatown. Of course, you have to like the Chinese food. We went to takeout window at the Peking restaurant to get some chukaman, which is a Chinese steamed bun filled with the pork, vegetables, and spices. You have to be careful when you eat the steamed bun, not to eat the paper. Whoops. Emi-san and Rhonda also tried some tapioca milk tea. The tapioca milk tea is interesting and challenging to the first timer, but don't let that stop you. Well, that's it for Random Train Stop. See you next time!